Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to read the results with Creo Simulate. How to use the Creo Simulate and best practice I have shown you in previous tutorials, so please check the, my YouTube channel and today we will focus on the results. Over here, as you can see in the result window, you can specify the display type as the fringe, vectors, graph and model. And over here are a few examples what we are able to do and how we can show the result. But I'd like to start from scratch, so maybe we can start with the creating graph results for the of the graph. Yeah, so I can cancel everything here and as you can see I have prepared simple 3D model where the displacement and four has been applied and I run the analysis. How to do it? It's really easy and check the previous video. Okay, if I would like to see the results, I am able to review the results. And as the first of all, I like to maybe speak about the graph. Yeah, so if you will select the graph over here as the creating graph result, you use the graph display to type the display graph of the selected quantity and you can create graph for the most quantities along one curve or more curves or beams. So you can specify, for example, that you would like to see the stress in megapascal and also what you can see here, it's a relative curve. So I can select the curve or you are able to select the direct curve. And for example, I like to see the result based on this curve. And if I will select this curve system, are allowed to confirm to me and then system ask me showing edge create by feature and you can highlight points will be responded at the start point so you can use this point as the start point or if I use the toggle the system will show me the, the starting point for the graph if I will come from OK and then we will come from OK and show the system will show us all necessary information and you can see that at the beginning of the curve the necessary stress was based on this value 57.9 and somewhere in the middle was for example 70 yeah but we would like to compare it with a vector display for example so you are able to create a new copy of this window what does it mean that this window will still be opened and for example we can jump in the display type as the vectors the vector display type is used to display result as a vector plot and the vector plot display the direction behavior of a quantity as colored arrows and the color and relative length of the vector arrow indicate the magnitude of the direction of force so we can have a look here so what does it mean you can select the display option and choose if you would like to have the wireframe vector or shaded vectors you can try and change and also you can work and visualize deformation for example if i will hit the ok and show the system will open second window and right now you can see that my arrows are not wireframe but are visible as the shaded if you would like to change it it's really easy I only select the window the system will activate the window and you can edit and for example if I will change the wireframe the system will open for you the the window and the arrows will be visible as selected and you can also continue the show the result as you want so what does it mean? For example, I will select the copy of this second window and we would like to see as the fringe. What does it mean? If you would like to still focus on the stress and megapascal, I would like to jump into display option. We can specify the continuous tone, so you can specify the how many colors will be used. And also you can use the deformation on overlay or transparency. It's up to you. Yes, yeah? so deformation is fine. I can come from OK and what does it mean right now in this third window you are able to see the fringe the, the color at 3D models and deformation and stress and all these topics 
If I would like to focus right now only on the third window, I can close the second one. And for example, we can compare if these value words are marked in the graph, if are placed and applied on the 3D model. How to do it? It's really easy. You are able to select the dynamic query, for example. And if I will move the mouse, you can see that at the beginning of the curve is the approximately, yeah, 63 in the middle is approximately 70. So based on the this curve, the system will automatically show or you can see directly on this graph. If you will move the mouse over the model, the system will always show you actual stress. If you will change the this window that you would like to see the displacements, for example, in Y, the system will change it. And also you are able to work with dynamic query and you will see the displacement yeah, of the selected points, what is behind of the mouse. I will jump back to stress and von Mises is good. And I'd like to show you more. So what does it mean? For example, you would like to see the model max. So if you will select model max, the system will show you where the max is. But if you will move the mouse, yeah, the system will leave it here. If you would like to clear, you can clear all tags and the system will clear it. If you will only select the view, view max, and you will spin the model, the system will hide the tag. If I will view min, again, will be visible. If I will move, the system will remove the tag automatically. So this is the difference between view max or model max and min. So if I will leave it here, I can spin the model and I can zoom. So this is the different. And if I will clear tags, it will be cleared. We can continue with the speaking and showing how to use the cutting surface and capping surface. And I will jump here in the second tab in the view. And over here, you can see the capping and cutting surfaces. And if I will hit the new, the system will show me that I am able to check the capping surface or cutting surface. So maybe we can start with cutting surface and a cutting surface enable you to make an intersecting cut and view result on the cutting surface only. What does it mean? It's really easy. We are able to define the coordinate system. So I'd like to reuse the existing one from the simulate results. So WCS or you are able to select the point or you are able to use the screen and so on. So I will leave this one. And as you can see, XY, so XY is activated in F5 will apply. The system will show me the result in the 50% of the model. If you will change it here, for example, 20% and apply, the system will move. Yeah, so percentage of the length of this visibility. If you prefer to use the dynamic, you can select the dynamic and then with left mouse click, you can move to left and right and system will move the cutting surface. If you hit the middle button, you are able to see the actual depth or you can change it manually as you want. If you will, yeah, apply changes here, the system will show you always necessary plane and then you are able again to move the mouse and the system will show you the results in the fridge. Yeah. Fine, if I will finalize the with the middle button, we can continue with the second option is the capping surface. And for example, above location and for example, 20%, if I hit the enter and I will apply, the system will show me 20% and of the capping surface. Yeah, and capping surface enable you to make an intersecting cut and view result on remaining exterior surfaces. So what does it mean? Again, yes, of course, we are able to use the dynamic and with the left mouse button, you are able to move the surface or you can change it manually here and apply. It's up to you. What I really like is if I can see the ISO surfaces. So if I will hit the apply right now, you can see that 
the system will show me or the remove me the surfaces which are above the 50 percent and if i will select opposite and apply you see that right now the system will show me that everything what is really necessary to show me and concentric stress again you are able to choose for example 70 percent and apply or for example 25 percent and apply it's up to you yeah it's really nice visualization and also you are able to use the dynamic and move the mouse left to right and you will minimize or maximize the visualization and you can really see where the stress is concentrate and then you are able to optimize your model so it was about the cutting cupping surfaces and ESO surfaces over here in this video tutorial you have learned how to show the result with Creo simulate and I'll try to explain to you these details regarding how to show in the graph results or with the vector display type cutting surfaces capping surfaces and ESO surfaces thanks for watching leave a comment and share with your friends or donate me by coffee thank you and bye bye Vladimir.